So yeah, I just did a power steering drain and flush a couple times. It was whining in the cold. Probably the original fluid to the car. So yeah, I replaced all eight coils and all eight spark plugs. And uh, it's still not running right. I know what it is now. It's this uh, oil control valve thing. It controls your, it's a VVT solenoid. uses oil pressure to uh, change your cam angles and all that. But yeah, this has been a frustrating problem. Yeah, except where the alternator is located. This thing's actually for a V8. Not too terribly hard to work on. I want to figure out if I can delete this. There's three PVC tubes coming to it. I don't know if there's a filter in here or what. But that'd be cool to put a plate right here and have those three tubes. So that way I can see the other side of the motor. Because between this intake and the engine cover that was on it, it was just a big plastic cover. I mean, what's the fun in that? But yeah, this is one part that's actually surprisingly easy to get to right here on the top. Since I got to drive all day tomorrow, I went ahead and got the $100 one from the auto parts store, even though I found them for 30 bucks on the internet. Probably going to do the one on this side with the cheaper one on the internet just to go ahead and do it. All right, let's do this. Yeah, of course, the guy in the forum has no problem getting the old one out. Hey, that reminds me of my old car. Okay, this has been crazy. That thing is so stuck in there, it's not even funny, and I broke it off. And then I had to put a piece of a glove in there to stop metal shavings from getting inside it. Wow. It's taking me like 30 minutes to get this stupid thing out. Probably would have been easier if I let the motor cool all the way down. Probably heat expansion got it stuck in there. Or maybe that's what's wrong with it. I did a power steering fluid flush the other day. It was easy. All I did was take off this cooling line right here. And there's some metal shavings on there, but... <laughs> They didn't get inside there. They stuck to the oil. Ugh. Huh. This is a pretty wild device here. Here's the inner part. Okay, made sure it was clean and then I had to undo this. That was missing already. Yeah, let's better fix it. Yeah, the new one went in pretty easily, surprisingly. Can't believe how stuck in there that was. But now I know to do it when it's cold. The engine's dead cold. And of course, all of my car repairs are done with a Stanley socket set and a a bunch of Harbor Freight tools. I'm gonna get some decent wrenches and sockets though. Not too tight. Doesn't have to be that tight. Look at that, 20 miles to the gallon in a V8. <sighs> All right, time to erase this code and uh, drive it around. Got my $60 Amazon special OBD2 scanner over here. Not too long ago, these things were a lot more expensive. Seems like. Sounds like it's running good. All right, I wanna see the screen here. Man, I got your work cut out for you when you're doing automotive YouTubing. So I drove it around and uh, let it cool down a little bit. So yeah, I think I got the problem pretty much sorted out. Subscribe for more shenanigans. It's kind of like, uh, you know, this old house, but uh, instead it's this old car.